an escalation could be brewing between Turkey and the Kurdish groups present in northern Syria's Aleppo countryside. On April the 13th, the Kurdish People's Protection Unit's YPG shot down a Turkish drone which was flying over their remaining territory south of occupied Afrin in northern Aleppo. The drone, identified as a CHJ-1, was shot down west of Tel Rifat. It was equipped with an optical system and was used to carry out short-range reconnaissance. On the next day, a second drone was shot down by the YPG near Tel Rifat. This drone was reportedly dropping leaflets with a warning to the locals. Additionally, Turkish-backed forces shelled the villages of Shawaha, Shawaha Castle and Ain Dagna, north of Aleppo, causing material damage to public and private property. Two days earlier, on April the 12th, a child was killed in clashes that erupted between Turkey-backed forces and the US-backed Syrian Democratic forces in the area. The reason for these clashes was the purported withdrawal of Russian forces from the area and the quick preparation by Turkey and its proxies to attempt an offensive on Tel Rifat, which they've been eyeing for a while now. The withdrawal was a short-term move. The London-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights claimed that the Syrian Arab army and Iranian-backed forces had deployed reinforcements to the area. Meanwhile, the Russians had reportedly returned to their posts in Tel Rifat. In hindsight, it was likely a maneuver to allow for its allied forces to be deployed with as little friction as possible. Meanwhile, in Greater Idlib, chaos is also brewing. Al-Qaeda-affiliated Hayat Tahrir al-Sham HTS, and its allies continue to violate the ceasefire in the northwestern Syrian region. On April the 13th, HTS militants attacked Syrian Arab Army SAA, troops near the town of Al-Hakor in northwestern Hama. Three officers were killed in the attack. On April the 14th, Al-Fateh al-Mubin militants shelled a number of SAA positions in the Al-Akrad Mount in northern Latakia. Casualties were also reported. These violations were answered with SAA shelling of militant positions in southern Idlib. In Syria's northeast, the United States reportedly transferred 60 ISIS prisoners from Hazaka's prison to the Al Omar oil field. In this area, Turkish forces are regularly clashing with the US backed Syrian Democratic forces. The entire northern region of the Arab Republic seems to be on the brink of serious escalation. <laughs>